Hello and welcome to this blockchain tutorial where I'm going to explain step by step all the different components that are in the in the hyperledger fabric. Uh, and for this tutorial I'm going to start with configtx.jam uh, but I plan to, to explain all the different components and uh, I'm going to use a, a decentralized vote example which is this and I'm going to go step by step in all of the different components in this example and for today's video we are going to start with config.txt.jam and I'm going to explain this file as quick as I can but in a comprehensive way so config.txt.jam is a file that is it's used to generate the configuration for the channel all the channel configuration goes here and um, it's used mostly by a config a tx generator tool, config tx gem, uh, to different purposes. One of that, one of them, one of that purposes is to to generate the genesis block. Uh, from this file, you can generate the genesis block, and later this block can be used to to join the orderer and the peers to the network. So you can uh, pass this file to the config tx gem tool and generate that block and here you define all the all the network configuration so this file has different um, different parts the first part of this file is the organization uh, configurations here you define the all the organizations the order orgs uh, which is the configuration for the order uh, you can you place here all the configuration for the different order that you can have in your network uh, this for the organization one, uh, organization two, and so on. Um, explaining a little bit the order here, you define the name, the name of the order organization. This is the name that you can give, and it can be any name you want. Uh, this is the ID for the MSP definition, the Member C Service Provider, uh, which you can also give the name uh, you want, but has to be consistent with the rest of the configuration that you have. Uh, this is the MSP directory. Here you define the the direct directory where the certificates of the membership service provider are are located. Um, this is the the domain and the the yeah the, the full directory organization or their organization uh, example.com which is the the domain and the MSP. Here you store the the certificates. And this this important part. These are the policies uh, where you define uh, which member of the organization is allowed to do the different operations in the in the network. Uh, here, for example, you can define the readers, and which member can be a reader, which member can be a writer, and uh, an admin, the different role. Here, for example, you can define uh, or other MSP member, and for example, here you can also. Uh, say that for example this is gonna be only a peer only a reader can be a peer or for example a key uh, here uh, can be um, a writer the different policies that you you define it is important if you write here the policies it is important to uh, place in the configuration uh, this variable so it allows in version uh, Fabric 2.2 and, and higher versions it is important to place this this variable to true because this variable allows the, dif the, dif the differentiation between the different members it allows to differentiate between a peer, a member, a order, an admin and so on so it is important to place this to true in the, in the configuration uh, here we have the order endpoints uh, order dot example which is the 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 domain the organization we are using uh, dot com this is the, the the domain and here the the port uh, this is for the organization one is really similar to the order organization one dot msp the name and yeah the policies and the the anchor peers you want to define the anchor peers to communicate between different organizations it is important to define the anchor, the anchor peers um, the host which is going to be the anchor peer the organization and the domain and the port for the organization 2 is the same 
and now we jump to the capabilities part uh, here in the capabilities is really easy here you have you have to define which capabilities you want to use in your network if you are using the version 2 uh, of, of hyperlight fabric you have to set the version 2 uh, to true and in the different capabilities the application capabilities the order capabilities and channel capabilities where where you can find further information in the in the fabric documentation you set them to true if you want to ena enable them so that's it really easy and now we jump to the application here is really similar as the organization policies but you define uh, the policies for the application the organization uh, which is a list of organization that uh, are participant uh, of the network here you can define for example uh, I don't know, org organization one and so on and now the policies uh, we, where you define we where who are going to be the readers of the the application side uh, the writers here is any writers or for example majority uh, admins a majority endorsement if you uh, want to to have a policy that uh, have, uh, want to have the majority to endorse a transaction you you write here majority endorsement if instead of that you want to to have uh, any any who endorse the transaction the transaction is validated uh, you write here any endorsement yeah, here is where how where you define how flexible the 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 application side is going to be, how how flexible or how restrictive uh, the policies from the application from the application side are going to be. And uh, here you enable the yeah you place here the capabilities, and now uh, we are using the here we are defining the how we are going to to approve the the block. This is the the raft consensus here you define all the configuration for the consensus protocol and we are using raft uh, kafka and solo are deprecated uh, from fabric uh, 2.2 i think so we are using only raft here uh, you define the the address from for the order the consenters here this is the raft definition the consenters the port of the order this is the, the same order that we had before uh, here you place the 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 directory for the certificates, the client TLS certificate and the server TLS certificate, and here you define a low-level configuration for the transactions. For example, the batch timeout, which is the the timeout to wait before creating a patch. You can modify this. Um, um it is the the time that uh, the is the order is going to wait uh, to to close a, a block to close a block of transactions so each two seconds um, a batch is created a, a batch uh, of transaction is created if you want to be more flexible with uh, how many time do you want to wait to in order to to create a block you have to modify the this value and also the batch side which is the the number of transactions that you want to wait to to store in a in a block uh, here we have 10 transactions to be stored in a block the size and the, the yeah the, the size some size values and so on. the organization which is the, the the list of participants of the network and also you define the the policies uh, the, which is the the same as i explained before a uh, important part here that we have a new policy which is the block validation uh, that specifies a uh, what signature must be included in a block. For example, any writers or, ma or majority writers or so on. Uh, the policies that we had before. But it's important that this is a new policy uh, which specifies the, the signature that must be included in, in a block. So now we jump to the channel configuration. Channel, uh, we enable here the channel defaults, which is uh, what we had before of the Fabric version 2. Uh, capabilities and also the, the policies we define the policies in each part of this of this file and the channel capabilities uh, that we are going to use 
and uh, in the end of this file we have the, the profiles, the different profiles that we are going to use to spin up the network. Uh, here we have two different profiles, the two organization of the genesis and two orgs channels. These policies, uh, sorry, these profiles uh, come by default in this file from the fabric uh, binaries. And here um, we put all these configuration that we have before, we put all this together. So in this policy, in this profile, uh, we define the channel defaults that we have before, the order defaults that I already explained, the organization, the order org, the capabilities, uh, the order capabilities uh, that is the um, the raft consensus and and so on, and uh, the sample uh, consortium. Uh, here in Fabric we can. Uh, uh, join different organization uh, into a consortium. So here we define that these organization are going to be a consortium. Organization one and organization two. And with this profile it is the same. The two organization channel, uh, sample consortium, and we define the the configuration that we have before. So yeah, that's it the the config file. Hope you understand and see you in the next video.